Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to the Safety Solutions Academy YouTube channel. Uh, went to the range yesterday with Caracal F and had some stoppages. Uh, you know if you've been paying attention to the channel that we did a detail strip of the top end of the Caracal, put it back together after we frog lubed it, and uh, went to the range and I was really surprised that we had uh, the problems that we had. Every malfunction that we had was the same. It was a failure to extract. Um, and the extractor was jumping off of the rim of the case, uh, which leads me to believe that probably what it is that's happened is when I put the gun back together, I didn't do something correctly. We're going to go ahead and we're going to field strip the pistol right now. Uh, let's go ahead, first of all, check to make sure that it's unloaded. You can see no magazine, no ammunition. Uh, this basically comes down in a similar fashion to a Glock. We're going to pull the trigger. We don't have to retract the slide to the rear. All you have to do is push the takedown levers down and it comes apart. So the part that I think is the offending part is probably, let's see if we can focus this in for you a little bit better. There we go. This spring right here, the curved spring, this spring is what it is that tensions the extractor. And my guess is, when I first took this gun apart, the first thing I did after the failures is I pressed this spring down, and there was a little bit of movement there. So my gut reaction is, is it may not have been fully on the extractor, may have been on part of the slide um, that, that doesn't move, and that may have been the issue. Let's go ahead and let's uh, take the recoil spring and the barrel out. And again, you know, this part of the gun is very similar to how it is that we handle the Glock. Um, you can see the extractor there. I mean, it's got a quite an aggressive claw, so there's really no reason why we should be seeing this extractor jumping off of the case unless it doesn't have the proper tension. And you can see, I mean, maybe you can see, maybe you can't. We'll see if we can get the angles right here. When we press on this, and it's hard to do here, I'll do it differently. I'm going to press on the back end of the extractor right here, and that should show you how the spring flexes. You can see that spring move on the inside. Um, so my concern is, is if the spring was off of the extractor and on part of the frame, that maybe uh, that was the issue. So again, the first thing I did is I fully depressed the extractor spring down into its position. I'm anxious to get back to the range and see how it is that the gun functions after that change. Now the other thing that's important to note is when this gun comes apart, um, this, first of all, there's two takedown pins, one here in the front end and one in the back end of the slide, or one, I should say, right behind the ejection port and one in the back end. When these two takedown pins come out, really what's holding everything together is the spring. And the way that I removed the spring was coming inside with a tool just like this and pressing the spring up and off of the extractor and that allowed me to then press the whole inner unit of the Caracal out which contains all of the guts. One of my concerns is, and it doesn't really look like it when I when I get in there and I play with this spring now, uh, one of my concerns is is that you know if I over bent this spring um, that I may have taken some of the tension off and now the extractor doesn't have enough guts to do what it needs to do. You know, as I tinker with this spring with a screwdriver, there's a lot of tension there. So I can't imagine that that's really the issue. Um, here's another look at the uh, extractor. Maybe I can press it here. I'm not having much luck with that either. I mean, there's enough tension that I can hardly move this extractor uh, by pressing it with a screwdriver. So we'll have to look at it, um, look for wear points. You know, obviously lubrication could have been an issue. Uh, all kinds of things. Ammunition might have even been the problem. Um, I'm a little bit frustrated that uh, the gun didn't go back together perfectly the first time. I fully accept that this could be my fault, user error, of not um, getting the spring seated properly into its position and therefore um, causing those malfunctions. But that still disappoints me because I want this gun to be a simple gun so that just about anybody can do just about anything they need to do to be able to make it run. Um, I'll continue to share with you the good, the bad, the ugly as I learn more about the Caracal F. 
I know that there are other folks out there that are testing this gun as well, and I hope to hear from them and their experiences. If you get a chance to get your hands on a Caracal, I suggest you do it. It's an interesting gun. It shoots very well. It's very pleasant to shoot. But one of the things we need to make sure of is that reliability. Um, as an interesting side note, after I put the Caracal down, I picked up a Glock, and man, oh man, the trigger on this Caracal out of the box is phenomenal. It's one of the things that I've noticed the most about the gun. So again, if you get a chance to uh, get your hands on a Caracal F, um, do that. Take it out for a spin, see what you think. Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to the Safety Solutions Academy YouTube channel. Please head on over to iTunes and subscribe to the Safety Solutions Academy podcast. Head over to Facebook, click on like at the Safety Solutions Academy page on Facebook. Get on out there, get yourself some training. When you do, make sure you keep it simple, make sure you stay safe, and as always, have a great day.